Oh well, hi everyone and welcome back to the Colour Cave where we like to play with art stuff. My name is Gem and this feels a bit weird. I am really not used to facing a wall when I'm filming. In both of the old caves I had a window in front of me. And I don't remember it feeling this weird film in the first video when we moved last time. Anywho's, I am excited to be bringing you the Artful Quarterly subscription box unboxing as the first video here in the new cave. So we are going to have some fun taking an in-depth look at the Quarterly subscription box by Odeer. And this time round it is paint markers. I am assuming it is acrylic paint markers. Um, it just says let's learn paint markers on the front. Yeah, let's uh, let's get this opened and see what we've got inside first of all. Oh, so Artful are a UK based company and they pride themselves on providing really high quality art supplies, but also a lot of additional inspiration and also instruction as well to help you along your journey. Oh, we've got, oh, see this stuff. It makes everything dusty. This is uh, eco-friendly packing, but it's very, very messy. We've got some of the Artful Blank Greetings card. They pop these into boxes every now and then. And these are really handy to uh, create artwork on a small scale. You know, maybe if you're uh, if you're not feeling a massive masterpiece or if you're like me, they're just really handy to have for last minute birthday cards, that kind of thing. But we won't tell anybody that that's what we use them for. So that's always nice to have as well. Oh, this is so cute. And uh, this is the Artful Cartridge Paper and this is 17 by 24. So this is like, it's slightly bigger than A5 but not as big as A4. I actually really like this size. The A4 can feel a bit jumbo sometimes and A5 can be too small for actual arting. Um, let me just, I've got an A4 Artful Pad to hand so... I can show you the size difference there. Look, there you go. How cute is that? Oh, I love it. Um, yeah, this is nice to have different sizes. Very good indeed. We have a pencil, which is an HB. Yay, we've got it. It's a pencil. Um, it's one artful branded HB pencil. We haven't had an HB pencil for a while. It's been two H's and things. So it's a pencil. And here are our markers. Oh, they're in this lovely little bag. I always like the presentation of the artful stuff. Like it makes me quite happy. Um, because it's always very aesthetic pleasing. I guess they're just stuck. Oh, look at these. These look remarkably similar to Posca pen shells. Uh, just the way this top part's an Artful paint markers by Odeer. Shake well before use. Replace cap when not in use. Push tip down to flood nib. And they've got that nice satisfying rattle. That looks like a really nice colour in there. Oh. So that is the actual paint we can see through the whoa, shell. Oh, these look nice. Okay. Obviously, we're going to test these out uh, after we've been through the rest of the contents of the box because I think these are all going to need a good shake. I have had this box for a long time. Um, so these have been sitting on their side for, for probably far longer than they should. But I just want to take a quick look at the nib, bullet nib type effort here. And uh, this depresses in, and this is how they were talking about flooding the pen to get it going. Um, I will show you once how to do that, and then I'll do the rest off camera. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, ten different colours, and I'm really glad there's a white one in there. This is quite an interesting selection of colours. Oh, pinky purpley theme here. Okay. I am more interested, um, and I know a lot of you are as well, in the magazine, which is nice and thick and juicy and chunky as usual. And it's uh, Let's Learn About Paint Markers and other stuff. There are a few wee leaflets in here on Naked Wine and uh, Hello Fresh coupons if you're into that sort of thing. Okay, so here we go. There's the section about Artful and there is the foreword and it's talking about paint markers and some of the properties thereof. And at the very bottom it says here, as with all of our mediums, we've taken care to source only the very best materials. Our Artful paint markers are filled with an array of bold, colourful acrylic paints and are finished with high quality pen nibs. The best bit, they are refillable. With some love and care, your paint markers will last you for quite some time. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so then we've got the contents section. Oh, <laughs> the football. I love the tutorials in this magazine. The football friends looks amazing. That's, yes. 
Okay, so they're they're actually mapping out here and visually showing you um what the tutorials are. There is a part on uh, drawing on trainers as well. That's something I've already done with paint pens. Okay, a brief history of street art as well. So that's quite nice. And uh, the difference between street art and graffiti. So there's quite a big article on that. And here we go, this is a little bit more about the supplies. 10 acrylic marker pens. This set of water-based refillable acrylic paint markers gives you bright opaque colours on almost any surface. Can we name the surfaces without actually reading them? Paper, glass, cardboard, metal, stone, wood. Right, there's six. Oh, I missed fabrics. It says here, any surface from paper to metal, fabrics, plastic, and even stone. I don't say plastic either, right? Okay, I'm rubbish at this game. The water-based ink won't bleed through the paper and will rub off glass with ease. If you allow it to dry, you can apply new layers over the top. The pencil, uh, it's a pencil. It's a must to have to add to your collection. Ideal for putting down faint line work to begin your artwork. Cotton drawstring bag, keeps all of your materials together. Artful sketch pad, 20 sheets of high quality, 140 GSM. This very magazine, four artful blank greetings cards, which is 280 GSM, uncoated. Fedragoni board, suitable for wet and dry media. Slight texture and it comes with craft envelopes. So the next bit under here says see pages 14 to 17 for the basics of working with paint markers. So if you're absolutely brand new to these and have never tried paint markers before, you're going to get yourself off on a really good foot just by checking out these pages. The things that's kind of stand out to me as they've stopped putting uh, recommended retail prices on these items which I find very interesting. Also I'm wondering if the shrinking of the pad because up until now we've always had A4 pads from Artful and I mean this one here is one that came in one of the Artful boxes and it's an A4 pad and it had 25 sheets in it. We are now on to this smaller pad of premium cartridge paper and it's not heavyweight cartridge paper. And not only is it a smaller size, but there's only 20 sheets in it. So I'm wondering if there may be a bit of cost cutting going on here. So let's start here with the basics. So they're telling you what to look out for visually, which I really, really like. And it was something I noticed straight away that, that a lot of the paint in these pens has started to separate. That's why these have got a ball bearing in them and it's to mix the paint and get it to go back together. They're telling you about refilling it here as well. They don't actually offer refills. It just says... Pour your acrylic refill into the shaft. Acrylic refills can be bought at most art shops. So they are not providing refills. And they're also showing you how to get the pen going. They're calling it flood the nib. Um, I am going to demonstrate to you now how to prime a marker. So let, let's let's do this on the, on the uh, premium cartridge paper. And I'm going to use this lilac colour. That's the first thing I noticed. There are no paint names like color names on the actual markers this is a very delicate lilac color but there's also another purple as well so it would have been nice to have names on the barrels or even on the caps it's not ideal but i, I would have been better than nothing so yeah the first thing i'm doing is mixing and it shows you here that if, if the barrel looks mottled it's basically showing you the paint separated and then what we're going to do is we're going to press down on the paper and depress this nib right in obviously when they do that vertically the gravity will take a hold of the paint and will make it flood down into this nib the nib will change color and it will soak up the acrylic paint and then we can get going with it and that took mere seconds mere se i usually have to cut a bit out of the video i mean, i don't have to do that that's that's amazing look at that beautiful that's really really nice color so that is how you prime your pen. It'll be interesting to see how long this takes to dry as well. So basic tutorials here, talking about how to work. We're, we're drawing a, a sort of selection of shapes here and giving things eyes. It goes back to the same thing as the googly eyes, like everything looks better with eyes on it. So that's a really nice place to start, just to get used to how the paint moves on the paper, also how the nibs work, um, and you know, really sort of test everything out. So that's a really nice place to start. So we're into an interview here, and this is Anu. Uh, she's a Finnish artist, but she's in London, and uh, she likes colourful stuff, which is amazing. So yeah, look at that, really bold block colour, like that a lot, that's really nice. Okay, so she's decorating trams, and cars, and more trams. Nice! This is so cool. And she has her own website as well, so check that out. James Chapman, um, from Manchester. I love these. These are only small as well. This is all uh, stills from films because this is Wayne's World and you can see them in a step by step here. Um, this is, I think this is uh, 
chicken run matrix. Yeah, there, okay, there's a lot of stuff here. These these are nice. I really like the feel of these. Like I'm I'm really enjoying the the kind of vibe I'm getting from them, especially the Wayne's World one. Call me a cow because I'm over the moon. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so a little bit of advertising here for the OD or website. You can get back issues of the magazine there as well. Amy Hastings. Now we're all about the UK people this time. This lady's from York. Again, really bright, colourful work. We're obviously into the cheery, colourful. I suppose that the paint pens kind of lend themselves to this sort of artwork. Artful Daily Challenge Retrospect. Okay, so they've had a chat with two people who have contributed substantially to the Daily Challenges. <laughs> oh, right, okay, so here's a selection of their work here. Love it. Really nice. <laughs> there was a prompt for hot sauce. <laughs> so yeah, these daily challenges, basically, if you go over to uh, Instagram and look for Artful there, they post a prompt every day um, for you to draw along and they post a lot of them. So if you submit it, it's highly likely that they will post it up on their feed. So it's well worth it, especially if you're wanting to get into the habit of drawing every day. So now we are meeting Norman Hayes. He's from Middlesbrough and his art style. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that um that art style, like the really sort of vintage animation. Um and it is I can't I don't even know if it's got a name, um, but that sort of fifties style of like jolly art. And it was picked up by the people that made the computer game Cuphead, if anyone's ever played that. This is what this style is. It's like a vintage animation style. And I love this. Like it is so retro. It definitely gives you, you know, like puts you in a certain kind of place which is really nice so cool really interested to look at more of his stuff on instagram mark david spengler he is a geometric block color art uh, and this chap is from stuttgart in germany so that's our first non-uk person in this particular magazine oh really oh, really really bold blocky style as well very very is there's one of these styles that's instantly recognizable i'm always a wee bit jealous of people like that because it's just something i don't i don't have that identity i'm afraid i'm a bit sort of uh what's the sporadic with my uh, my art styles that in itself makes it kind of fun though but look at these these this i could see this like hanging on someone's um you know like lounge wall in a modern apartment or something like that this is so cool so these are ones to follow so this is a snapshot of artists on instagram that use the medium that they're dealing with in the magazine so here here's the first tutorial the football friends i have to say i'm really quite excited about this this is really simple and straightforward and it looks like a ton of fun so if you want to see me do this tutorial you need to get down into the comments because we do like to try a tutorial from the magazine in our uh, video that follows this i fill the bowl yeah this looks like great fun and uh, obviously gives you quite a cheery outcome Beautiful. This one uh, is a bit of a bigger tutorial. Uh, this is by Amy, who we saw earlier. Um, this is 45 minutes, but still a beginner level. That's really cute, actually. <laughs> and here is uh, the, the trainers one. So this is intermediate, and it's saying about an hour. I would say, just from experience, this depends on the type of material that the sneaker or trainer is made from. Sometimes you need two coats of paint uh, for your base layers for it to look half decent. But this very, very, very in-depth. I like this a lot. Uh, the Infinity Scene Zine. So we're folding up some paper here. Doing some stuff. And this is intermediate and this is an hour. This might be quite interesting to do. Because this is one of these ones where, uh, you know, it's, it takes a bit more planning and it's a bit more work. But the finished article, you unfold it and it's got different parts of different... Like, this is nice. I like this a lot. Um, I would quite like to do this, I think, would be quite an interesting tutorial. So if you'd like to see me do this one, again, just let me know down in the comments. And here we have an advanced tutorial of Fish on Glass. So this is interesting and I was going to say there looks, there's a palette here so it looks like there may be a little bit of blending and a little bit of a use of a paintbrush here. This is really interesting. This tutorial focuses on a transparent base material which is multi-layered allowing for equal multi-layered approach to creating the artwork. These sorts of glass box frames are easy enough to buy online. It comprises of two shows. Oh, right, so we would have to buy a frame to do this one. Okay, maybe not do this one. But I love that they've got something a bit more advanced. Um, and this makes me happy. That's kind of cool, actually. Okay, I, I might do that if, uh, if that's something that you all would be interested in seeing. Um, I might take the time to get one of these glass boxes. I've never come across these before. It's quite interesting. Wait, there's even more. Okay, so we're talking about the website. We're talking about YouTube and also the Daily Art Challenge, obviously. 
So that is our magazine and that is our box. The thing about having a marker box, regardless of whether it is a monthly art subscription box like our scroller boxes or our upcrate boxes, or whether it's a quarterly subscription box, the minute you put markers in the box, you're simplifying the contents. Um, because there's not, the whole point of these types of pens is that you don't need anything else apart from the pens themselves. Yes, you can enhance and you can definitely add things to them, but this is actually all you need. I think it might have been nice if they'd given us a black fine liner. Um, there isn't actually a black paint pen. Uh, there is a white though, which I said is great. Um, because these are quite opaque and you can layer them up over each other so white's good for highlights um, it's also good for outlining if you want something to pop if you've got a coloured background so it would have been nice to have a black fine liner and I think they could have added that into the box without causing uh, too much damage to the, the actual cost of the box that's just a thought so let's try out some of these other colours I think I'm going to stick with the purpley pinky ones just because we've already gone there okay so here is the darker purple nice, like that that's not hard, guys. Uh, okay, so we've got a nice kind of lighter pink colour. That is very delicate. I like that a lot. Okay, so I'm thinking this might be more of a red colour as opposed to a... It kind of... The cap looks kind of neon pink. Um, but I think this might be more of a reddish colour. I'm actually hoping it's like a kind of like rose colour. That would be nice. Oh, it's oh, okay. It's, it is pink. That is pink. Okay, yes. Yes! Loving these colours. See, I'm thinking like a berry smoothie with these. Just, you know, thinking about the fruit bowl things. Funny. Yes. That's how you do orange without being offensive. Orange. Nice, nice. I love how this has left a mark where, I'm assuming where it's the ball bearing has been sitting. Um, I've been shaking this like crazy and that's, that's not moved at all. That's concerning. Okay, I'm going to go for this green one first just because I'm concerned. Uh, I'm assuming that the paint's still going to flow down and everything. And see, it's just because it's been sitting. Hopefully, she says, oh yeah, it's flowing down, no problem. Okay, nothing to worry about. I really like the particular shades of the colours that have been chosen here. This is nice, I like it a lot. Oh, delicate, I call that sea blue. It's not quite a turquoise, but it's not quite a blue, it's a sea blue. So that's lovely as well, which leaves us this blue and then the white. I'll show you the white on one of these darker colours because that'll let us see how it layers up as well, how opaque we are because we do like a good bit of opacity here at the cave. Oh, this is ridiculous, this colour. Oh, that's nice as well. Yes, okay, I love these colours. I love these colours. Let's see what the white's up to. Quite often with these pens, um, especially when they're quite new, sometimes if you're using white as a highlight, you have to go over it twice, because what I tend to find is, especially if it's against a really dark colour, the white will kind of like suck up some of the pigment from the darker colour, um, even if it's the, the bottom layer's completely dry and it's just one of these things, so we may have to go twice, and that is not like detrimental, um, and it's certainly not an indicator of poor quality or anything like that, it's just one of those things. It tends to be the darker colours that cause it. Okay, I'm going with white now. And I actually see the white on this paper because it's not completely uh, brilliant white, there you go. So let's just um, put a couple of lines down here. Oh yeah, let's do it on the yellow as well just so we can see. Wow, that is opaque. That's really good actually. It'll be nice to see it when it's dry as well. One thing I have noticed is the drying time of these markers seems to be quite quick, but that can be wholly dependent on the paper. Um, so do not take that as gospel, but I've used quite a lot of paint pens, notwithstanding any major revelations uh, on the scale of quickness. These are fairly quick drying time. We're, we're kind of like normal temperatures in the cave, even though it's the end of July and it should be scorching. It's, it's not. It's raining and it's like 15, 16 degrees, which is about 60 Fahrenheit. So it's not that warm. So yeah, that's not, a, that's not artificially uh, increasing the rate of drying times here. I am quite happy with these pens. I think they are going to layer up quite well. So let's try another. The opacity seems to be really good. So even if you want to layer up um, a lighter colour over a darker colour, I think we're going to be okay. The white seems to be doing a grand job here. And one coat of that pink has taken away 95% of that lilac colour that's underneath. So I think you can go on with confidence creating pieces with these particular pens in that, um, you know, 
you don't have to sort of compartmentalise parts of your drawing. Like you can just layer straight over the top of them. And the only limitation will be how much the paper will take. I've got a little HB pencil here as well. I just want to give that a quick test. An HB is not a grade I use very often, but I'll, uh, if it's the only thing to hand, I will draw an entire picture with it. I challenge myself to draw a boot, you know, like a military boot, uh, just with an HP pencil, and it turned out great. So, you know, a um, lot to be said. Versatile pencil, because it's right there in the middle of the scale. So as you can see, we can get fairly dark darks, um, and you can keep to nice and light lights. And I absolutely love, love, love the texture of graphite pencils on cartridge paper like this because there's just a wee bit of texture to the paper and it just makes what you're drawing a bit more interesting. I really enjoy it. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that as a drafting pencil, you know, for sketching outlines or whatever. And this should erase really easily as well. Uh, because of my new cave setup, I have an eraser or two hand. Don't even have to get out my chair and I can reach my actual pencil case. How nice is that, guys? <laughs> oh, this is the little Derwent Slim eraser. I love this eraser. I've kind of like, um, I've grown, a, I've grown a, bit of a, a bit of an attachment to it. So let's go right through the middle there. Um, and as you can see, that's erasing fairly well. These are really good erasers, I'm not gonna lie, but you know, you're taking away quite a lot of graphite there. And again, just being an HB, that makes the job a little bit easier. Well, isn't that interesting? I, I always find the artful boxes quite refreshing. The reason I say that, I think it's because we're used to getting the monthly boxes and uh, we have to wait a little bit longer in between the artful boxes. But I just feel as if they give you the whole package. And I was a wee bit worried, I'm not gonna lie. I was a wee bit worried that a marker box might be sort of lacking in substance, but they've given us a generous amount of marker pens. They've given us some nice paper. They've switched up the format. Whether or not that's a cost-cutting exercise, it's just nice to have something a little bit different. Um, but more to the point, the magazine's got a really nice range of tutorials in it and it's not just restricted to paper. So again, like me, if you've done a lot with Posca markers, apart from the trainers I've done a shop front before, I did a shop front for Christmas, um, so for people like me there is something else to go on we haven't even tapped into the fact that because these are water based you can put them in a palette and use a paintbrush with them and actually use them just like you would any other acrylic paint, that is not something that's in my wheelhouse because my answer to that is well if I wanted to do that I would just use normal acrylic paint because I've got it coming out my ears here in the cave um, but it is versatile if you're short on space or you want to travel and take these with you then you've got the option of using them in a more painterly format as well which maybe we could do a bit of as well you know in another video so that is it for today guys I would love to know your thoughts on this box and what you would like to see me do with the box because you know I like to do some artwork because the proof is always in the, of the finished art Artwork. it's all very well swatching things out you're better to do a full artwork with it and get a better idea of the product first impressions are great these seem really robust sturdy the the acrylic paint that's in them is marvelous um, and i would like to push that a little bit further and just see what we can do so that is it for today guys thank you so much for coming and watching this first video in cave mark three it still feels really weird sitting here filming facing a, a wall but <laughs> I'm sure I'll get used to it. It is nice to be cocooned and be able to reach all my favourite supplies, like my pencil case. Oh, 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 what else can I reach? <gasps> but a gal sharpener. What else can I reach? Paintbrushes. So, you know, I have I have really given this thought. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a, a much more streamlined process moving forward. But thanks for your patience. And I'm hoping that you enjoy this as a first video back. And uh, I will see you back in the cave. It may not be this week. I'm still trying to get back into the swing of things. But you won't have to wait long for our next video. There will definitely be one next week, if not before. So have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye for now.